channel message for you and this is a channel message for my chosen ones beware of the gang stalkers these are the people that follow you on social media or you may be friends on social media these people watch your every move but don't support they stay in the shadows in the background so inspired by your work but too prideful to admit they are so intrigued by you. They are in secret competition with you, watching you carefully to see what your next move will be, to keep tabs on you so they can one-up you, or keeping tabs on you to make sure you aren't doing better than them. So intrigued by your presence, that's why they won't leave your presence. They can dislike you or feel a certain tension toward you, but they won't unfollow. They won't stop watching your stuff because deep down they are inspired. They learn from you and value what you bring to the table. You are just that good, baby. And they hate that. They also hate how you just keep getting better no matter what is thrown at you. They expected you to fail by now. They expected you to give up by now. They expected you to quit by now but you aren't folding under the pressure you are being made stronger and more valuable under the pressure because you are a diamond and diamonds are made under pressure you are on the come up you're rising you're elevating and these gang stalkers hate to see it they hate to see you rise because they feel that you will elevate past them they hate to see you become all you are created to be. They place you on this high pedestal where they aren't surprised when you come into success because they see your brilliance. They know you can and will achieve great things and they wish bad upon you. And when they do, the enemy will use them as a vessel to sabotage you because they were lowering themselves into a weaker state of mind, allowing the ego, allowing the flesh to take over. The flesh is weak. The enemy wanted to weaken your flesh. That's why the enemy sent in agents to mess you up. He'll send in multiple because one isn't enough to stop you. You are too strong. That's why you were getting hit back to back to back like that it felt like you were outnumbered the enemy worked overtime to stop you it felt like you got jumped spiritually multiple entities came for your spirit that's why you needed a break to heal to ground and to recenter you fought a good battle you defeated everything and everybody that came against you you were outnumbered. That's why you were left feeling so exhausted because it took so much out of you. Spiritual warfare is real. The devil is real and evil is real. But you, my baby, are divinely protected and no weapon formed against you shall prosper, shall ever prosper. They came at you multiple times, but you still standing, right? Now that you know who these people are and you learned those lessons from these experiences, going forward, use your discernment. When they show you the red flags, move around. When they do or say certain things, act accordingly. Just don't put yourself in the same position as last time that left you feeling ashamed, embarrassed, and ticked off. Don't make the same mistake twice. Do not make the same mistake twice. You don't want to go through that again if you don't have to. Evolve past it and rise above it. 
remember that you are chosen. Walk like it, talk like it, and live like it. Okay, so there's an analogy here where there was a reference to Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, where in Willy Wonka, they talked about how Slugworth or other people, enemies that Willy Wonka had, would be sending in spies dressed as workers in order to steal Mr. Wonka's secret recipes. Similar to what's going on with you, my chosen ones, is that the enemy sends in agents dressed as angels because you know the enemy can disguise himself as an angel of light these are those wolves in sheep's clothing these are those people that are coming towards you into your life posing themselves off as somebody like-minded like you but their whole entire motive is not purely intended it's with malice intent to hurt you destroy you sabotage you and mess you up okay so that's all i have for you my beautiful souls for this channel message and just thank you so much for being here I thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm going to send you so much love. Here's a hug. I'm going to give you a kiss. I love you. Thank you. Bye-bye.